I've been president of the Festival of Arts for the past five years, and during that period we've done the major, well, all of the design work on this facade, as well as getting the entitlements from the city, and then executing the design. We started thinking about this project about seven years ago. I was on the subcommittee that met with the festival board uh, to um, approve the budget and obviously the city then gets involved in the design so we had the planning commission involved and ultimately the city council to approve it. We have a very positive relationship. I think we know that this is sort of our premier you know, summer art festival and it draws lots of visitors into the community which uh, our merchants like, our downtown businesses like. So it's a catalyst for a lot of things in town. The company name is KPRS Construction. My name is Doug Hood. My position is superintendent. We probably have an overall total of about 200 people, 150 to 200 people that have been involved with the process of building the facade. This facade is really a piece of sculpture. Our architects were selected about two and a half years ago. You know, the inspiration comes from a lot of things, but the site is really special. It's uh, between the canyon and the village. The material palette includes materials and colors derived from the natural landscape, things that will age. So we've used uh, rammed earth representing the flow of the canyon and the uh, earth in themselves will uh, change over time uh, and mature. We build sustainable walls from natural elements from the earth. We take non-organic soil and compact it into individual lifts and those lifts then make up the wall. There's two walls in the Laguna Festival of Arts project. Uh, the one that behind me you see is the largest wall. It's a little over 12 feet tall. It's about 110 feet long, I believe. Both walls combined are a little over 200 feet. Uh, there's a second wall as well, and there are five benches um, in front of the project as well. City Council's reaction to the design has been uh, unanimously positive. I think it's just going to be the talk of the town once it's fully completed this summer. This vision that Jay had, and it's not your normal, everyday project. It took a little more than nine months to do the physical demolition and um, construction here on the site. This project will cost somewhere in the 3.7 to 3.9 million dollar range. Hopefully, just the beginning of a process where we'll be able to upgrade and refurbish the Festival of Arts grounds. Well, I'd just like to add a congratulations to the festival and a thank you for starting us off on what I hope will be a renaissance of this whole area. I mean, it really needs to be improved. This is the start of an impetus in that direction, so we really appreciate it.